And then, Melissa, I think it's really difficult to overstate uh, the achievement uh, for today. I believe you are the first female CEO, well, in recent times, to bring an IPO to the German market. So congratulations on that. And it's also, I believe, the um, largest tech IPO that we've seen in Europe this year. So uh, how about we start off with you telling us just a little bit about how it feels and how momentous this day is for you. I'm sure you've been working really hard. We all have been working hard indeed, yes. It's a huge day. It's a great day in SUSE's history. It's a great day for diversity and for software, of course, being headquartered here in Europe. So it's a, it's a brilliant day. The last couple of months have been crazy, but today we, we couldn't be happier with the results. And can I ask you about whether or not you're happy with the pricing achieved? Um, I see that you ended up pricing closer to the bottom end of the range, but are you satisfied with uh, the final pricing in the end? Yeah, we are. Um, you know, our listing today was an important strategic milestone for SUSE. It gives us the long-term financial and strategic flexibility that we require. We're trading above our listing as we are right now, and we're going to continue to control our destiny as a publicly listed company out of Frankfurt. So, yeah, I'm really happy. And for me personally, for us at SUSE, and for all of our esteemed investors, it's going to be a journey. It's not just about today, but it's about what's ahead for us here at SUSE. Well, financial markets have been very volatile as of late. Uh, things have really spiked up and uh, many of uh, other companies who were considering going to market actually delayed or postponed their decisions. How come you decided to go on ahead despite the volatile market conditions right now? Um, you know, you're right. It's, it's been a little bit more volatile in recent weeks than perhaps most of us would have liked, but I'm thrilled about our ability to step into the market today. This day shows that SUSE has an exceptional financial profile. We're characterized by quite a unique combination of fast growing, recurring revenues with profitability at scale. It's, it's, a, it's a really strong and advantageous financial profile that we have to offer. So we've got in, incredible strength in our investors. I'm quite humbled that the interest that we've received over the last couple of weeks and certainly, we're, you know, this is just one step in our journey, and we're, we're very lucky to be here today, and we've got big plans ahead. So let's talk about those big plans. Uh, what is the company planning on doing with the uh, funds raised today? So a couple of things. First, we're going to um, bring down our debt. That's very important, obviously, for us and our shareholders. The second thing is we're, gonna, we're really going to focus hard on two key levers, our organic growth levers and our inor inorganic growth levers. So we have a lot of um, underserved markets and a lot of processes and procedures put in place that we have to grow organically and quite substantially across the global markets. Um, we're investing in key areas like the U.S. federal business across various markets in Asia and, of course, across our home territories here in Europe. But, um, you know, we're quite bullish on what the future opportunities are for us here at SUSE. And um, the, the proceeds will definitely be used to invest in our growth and our growth levers. Now, I started off this interview by mentioning that it is, I believe, the largest tech IPO that we've seen this year. And, um, you know, typically that would be the home of, of Silicon Valley. But we are beginning to see the emergence of more tech companies in Europe. How do you think about the outlook and the landscape for the emergence of tech uh, in Europe? And uh, do you see, you know, rising competition for, you know, Silicon Valley comp companies coming out of the continent in the coming years? For sure. Um, as you probably can hear my accent, I'm American born and of course SUSE and our potential IPO in the early days could have been courted by any of the major exchanges around the world, including London or NASDAQ or the US or any other. We felt it was important for us. We were born in Germany, um, very close to Frankfurt and our heart remains in Germany. So we thought this was a great opportunity for us to solidify the independence in the market of which we were born, and that's in the, in the German and Frankfurt Stock Exchange. So for us, it was a great opportunity. With a lack of European tech resources, it, it definitely is also a great opportunity. You don't get very many um, traditional, high-growth, profitable tech enterprises listing in the European market. So for us, with the scarcity of resource and great opportunity, it was right for us. I know that Europe will be a great resource for future tech, and I'm absolutely confident that with the success of this listing as SUSE and our growth in the market going forward, it will certainly be able to attract great tech businesses into the European landscape as well.